The top for us tonight, it is a welcomed sight for residents who call North Beach home. Talking about the demolition of the restroom facilities at Surfside Park. Yeah, it's a story we've been following for the last two years. The bathrooms had long been considered an eyesore, and at times visitors found the parking lot, well, impassable due to flooding. Our Bill Churchwell went out to, to the site today to see where the $6 million project is underway to revamp this part of North Beach. He joins us now with an update. Hey, Bill. Hey there, residents I spoke to said it's been a long time coming to get to this point. The project bringing much needed upgrades to this part of North Beach, a project that was approved by voters through the 2020 bond project. This is going to be one of the premier spots in Corpus. Ron Graben has reason to smile about what's being built right next door to his home here on North Beach. This is a great improvement. Every day I wake up, I hear the machines going, blood gets going, and I'm excited about it. Excited because he used to be just feet away from this, an unsightly bathroom and shower facility at Surfside Park that had been in disrepair for years. The other big issue is right here flooding caused by the rain as well as high tide. People come, they park in the mud, they slip and they slide, the kids play in polluted water and they don't even realize it. So now it's going to be a much better presentation. On the other side of this fence, ecstatic about this. Bob Catalano has lived next to the eyesore for the last 25 years. This is one of the main entrances to the beach and first impressions are important. The demolition caught on video last week, paving the way for $6 million in improvements. This is the rendering of what will go in its place, a new restroom facility elevated to today's standards that will be pushed further back from the beach. There will also be a new parking area. As for the site where the restrooms and showers once stood, that will become a park. Because it's a velocity zone with the hurricane uh, specifications, so this new design is actually going to be up on stilts. City Council member Everett Roy was there during the original discussions about the project several years back. As soon as council voted on the, um, the design and the engineering and the cost, we were able to just get started right away. They're going to elevate this. A big improvement residents here now have a front row seat for. It's almost like a dream come true. The city says portable restrooms will remain in place until the project is completed in June of 2024. Bill Churchwell, 3 News. All right, Bill, thank you for those updates.